Hey everybody, Dave Forehand, Dallas Arboretum. I'm in the Roy Myers Children's Adventure Garden and I'm standing under a tree that's one of my favorite small trees that's actually native here to the southwest. It's Jalopsis linearis, or desert willow. This beautiful tree uh, is uh, found throughout uh, the southwest in dry creek beds and along uh, dry streams, but it is a great ornamental tree for us here in North Texas. It can go down as low as 10 degrees and still be fine, so it's pretty much uh, freeze proof for, for here in North Texas. Or, Anywhere you'd have uh, temperatures stay above that for winter lows, you could grow this beautiful uh, tree, the Chalopsis. You can see it has a great flower. Uh, there are named varieties. This thing has been uh, 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 bred and, and created many new varieties. So this particular one I think is Rio Salado is the name of this. It's kind of about a purple flower. You'll see it almost uh, in white, pink, uh, and different shades of uh, mauve as well. Uh, but it'll bloom on and off throughout the warm season and it will uh, drop its leaves in the winter and go dormant. Uh, I've got a great kind of uh, wild shape to it. You can grow it as a single trunk. You'll most often see it growing as a multi-trunk. This is a good example of size. They can get a little bit bigger and I've seen these used a lot lately in parking lots of, uh, of big box stores where they want to have more drought tolerant plants available but also be attractive to, to see as well. Uh, bees love this, hummingbirds, so I'll feed on the nectar from these flowers. So again, desert willows, cool tree. If you want something small that blooms all summer, I'm Dave Boring. I'll see you real soon.